A lot of stuff happening on the farm right now. We are finishing up the prep at our newest plot. The guys at the, at the moment right now, I'll show you what's going on in a second. They are emptying out a lot of our compost bins that are full of old microgreen flats. People always ask about what we do with them and they basically just sit in there. But we're, it's, we're, it's great right now because we're using this stuff to put into this sort of marginal soil and we're tilling it in. So we're changing the physical composition of the soil. That's gonna give us some more um, uh, of a balanced loam in the soil, which is great. And we'll also be putting proper compost on those beds. But right now we're just gonna till in a bunch of this stuff. The guys are emptying out the compost bins and taking truckloads of it and spreading it on the beds. But before I show you what else I'm doing today, I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of some changes we've made in the greenhouse. If you see behind me, you'll notice a lot more shelf space in the greenhouse and um, we've had to increase our shelf space for two reasons. One, because the sunlight is now up higher in the sky and all of my vertical space is no longer that usable. It is for half of the year, which is great, but for this half of the year it's not so much and because I'm in the process of starting a bunch of new different microgreens. I'm just starting to get on stream with this production, like planting micro basil each week, red amaranth, shiso, chervil, cabbage, um, kohlrabi, what else am I planting? Shungiko, a bunch of these varieties I did in that trials video of mine. I'm actually, I found proper densities and I'm on stream with this stuff. So I've built a whole shelf on the front of the greenhouse, which has made my raised bed down there completely redundant, which is, you know, whatever, it is what it is. And we've also increased this shelf. We've put another 20 inches out here so we can have another group of flats. So we, get, we have on this one section here, we've got 26 flats, and then we've got another 26 over there. Then we've got 13 here and another 13 there, plus all of this. So we've got a lot of real estate now for microgreens and that's, and that's what we need to, to try these new products. Right behind me is our grow wall. It's doing really, really well. Finally, finally, this thing is happening. There was a lot of trial and error with it at the beginning because we had some major aphid problems in this greenhouse and everything we put in here just got devoured by aphids. But we've now come to an equilibrium in the greenhouse because of our ladybugs and we, we no longer have aphid problems at the moment. And um, so we've planted this with basil and it's doing really well. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna start harvesting. So this is from a company called Vicinity in South Africa. They sent this to me to do some R&D for them, try the product, let, let them know what I think about it. So I'll be doing that soon. Uh, it, it's a really simple device. These, these are just bags of soil. So we filled them with soil and compost and we've put our basal transplants into them. There are drip emitters at the top of this thing that drip through and then there's a water catchment at the base and then it just cycles that water. So when they shipped it to us, they gave us this more complicated high-tech um, moisture reader type device that turns the water on when it needs moisture and it connects to the Wi-Fi. And we, that, we, we've had problems setting that up because of um, just some electronic differences between South African stuff and, and Canadian or American stuff. So what we've done is just hooked it up to a timer, just a manual timer, and it runs for a half an hour once every day, and that's been doing great. The soil is moist, but not soaking wet, and this basil is growing really, really well. So I'm really stoked to be harvesting this stuff very soon. So some other things that the guys have done in the greenhouse, which has been great, is we've just been kind of getting organized in here and we've um, created some more vertical space to store, to keep things like our bags when we're packing and all that. And um, put a board here, moved it from the other side because we do actually do more of the work, at least the planting work on this side and uh, put our soil screen off the ground. Just organized things a lot more, which has been great, because then we don't have things on the floor, and um, we've been spending a lot more time in here recently, so 
it's kind of increasing our workflow. So let's go check up on these guys and I'll show you what they're up to. All right, so this is a big mess back here, but um, this is what happens to all of our uh, harvested microgreen flats. They just sit here. And if I was more proactive and put more effort into proper composting, um, I'm sure this compost would be better, but I don't really look at it as a compost. Um, like I said, I could, but uh, I'm a little too lazy for that. It's just not really worth my time. I'm happy to buy good compost from somebody local who makes it, and that's what we do. And um, so this stuff will just go back in the soil. It'll get tilled in, and it'll kind of add some loam to our soil, but right now they're just pulling the stuff out. Like this is probably two years of microgreen flats all of this and so looks like we're going to empty at least three bins which is great because we've been running out of space for for uh for compost anyways so they're clearing it out and then we're taking it to the new plot and this is also the stuff that we're taking to our flagship plot the one that doesn't have a home on it after we um, chop down our cover crop our fall rye We'll also be putting a couple inches of this on each bed there and then rototilling that in and then tarping it for a while. Well, those guys are dropping off that last load of compost, raking it around. They're gonna take the BCS there, leave it for me. I'm gonna go and bike there, finish the tilling, and then they are actually gonna head to another plot where I have our two caterpillar tunnels and they're gonna prep four more beds there that are actually just these shorter beds besides that, uh, beside those tunnels. And in the meantime, while they're finishing that other plot, before I have to go and rototill, I'm going to get some of these new microgreens going. So today I'm doing, I'm just looking up at my board here. I'm going to do, I've got some basil, I've got some chard, I've got some red amaranth, some cabbage, and some shungiko. And so what I've done here, because I am doing I'm gonna try to do some different mixes of microgreens and a lot of these microgreens have different days to maturity based on my trials. So I have to plant the longer days to maturities a week before the next ones or whatever number of days that I figured out those DTMs are. And so I've got basically three stages right now and this might change, this is all kind of new trial stuff I'm doing but I've got DTMs that are around 24 days and then I've got actually no these ones are near 30 days and I've got some that are around 24 to 22 days and then I've got ones that are two weeks so I basically have to start the longest ones first and then the next week I start the next ones and so on and so forth but what I'm doing in the meantime or or along this stage is also so batch one uh, last week I started basil, chard, and red amaranth. Those are my longest days to maturity ones. And then the next week I'll start, which is right now, shungiko and red cabbage. But I'm also gonna start basil, chard, and red amaranth again. So what will happen on the third week is that I'll be starting all of them at once, but each, each third of them will be for a separate day to maturity. So um, that might sound a little cloudy if you don't understand don't worry about it I'll eventually figure it out and I am going to be putting a lot of this content into the new microgreens online course that I'm working on with Luke Callahan um, I mentioned it before a lot of you have emailed me to be on that list but if you again if you want to be on that list just email me Curtis at the urban and just put microgreens course in the subject and I'll just add you to that list so uh, that's been coming along. So anyways, I'm just gonna crank on this for a little while and then I'm gonna run out and uh, jump on that machine when those guys get back. Yeah. 